Good afternoon, everyone. My name's Trevor, and I will be your stripper today. Today, we'll be stripping this 1970 Dodge Challenger. I'm going to be using a proprietary three-step process to remove all the paint, Bondo, rust, everything off of this Challenger to get it down to bare metal prior to a restoration. So I got it all rigged up and ready to go into the tank. I'm going to go over this thing with you guys real quick so we can see what it looks like before. And then once we pull it out of the tank and pressure wash it, we're going to see what's hidden under all this paint. So let's have a closer look and see what we're working with. So up front here, we got a little bit of surface rust, but nothing crazy. This thing's in pretty solid shape, honestly. A lot of the Mopars we get in here are pretty rough. The floor looks great. One of the best I've seen. The last Challenger we had in here was, there wasn't a floor basically. Quarters, solid, but I'm gonna guess there's some putty under there. Trunks all cut out and they put some braces in there. This thing looks pretty good. Take a look at the roof. From the driver's side, everything looks solid. I think this is gonna be a pretty easy dip. I'm gonna say one or two times in the alkaline and all this paint's just gonna fly off. Anytime we get a paint that has like a metallic flake in it, it foams up in the tank and reacts real nice. And then when we pressure wash it, the paint just flies off. It's not too rusty. So I'm going to say two, maybe three times in the acid to get rid of all the rust, but we'll see. Let's get this thing in the tank and I'll see you in two days. So I have the Challenger about to be lowered in the Auckland bath. And I usually have a little Roger rabbit toy that sits about right here as a little reference to the dip in the movie. Well, I accidentally knocked him to the bottom of the tank and we found out today that he does not float. So it looks like I'm gonna be getting another one. And maybe in about three years when we switch this chemical out, we'll see what he looks like. But let's get this thing in the tank and I'll see you in like two days.
1970 Dodge Challenger is finally finished. We got this thing down to bare metal. And I have to say, this is probably the best Mopar I've seen in the shop. The floors are completely solid. Now, I do believe they were replaced, and you'll see that here in a second. 
but regardless of that, all around this thing's in pretty solid shape. We're gonna have a closer look at this thing and I'll show you how solid it actually is. So up front here, you can see everything's pretty straight and there's not a lot of rust going on. That firewall basically looks perfect. It, a little, it is a little boogered up down there, but nothing too bad. Come along the side, you can see right by the windshield, there's some rock coming through there and up top, a lot of pitting, but nothing too crazy. Come in the inside, there's some rock coming through on the floor pans, but just a few pinholes, nothing crazy. There's uh, a decent amount of pitting, but look at the rest of this floor. It's absolutely immaculate. Now, there are some spots where you can see where it was welded, which makes me think it was replaced. But regardless, this thing's solid. Take a look at the driver's quarter. Nice and straight, except for the back here. You can see there was some work done. There was some bondo there. Have a look at the back. Solid. They cut the trunk out. I'm guessing it was in pretty rough shape, but they added some braces. Come along to the passenger side, quarter. Nice and straight. We got some rock coming through there some pitting have a look from this side now i love mopars but i do have to say they are usually the rustiest cars we get in here but this one definitely changed that i really hope you guys enjoyed this video i did a little more talking in this video at the beginning and stuff we'll see how it does let me know if you guys want me to do that from now on or just go straight to the dip. But I figured you guys would enjoy having a nice look at the car before we put it in the tank. So just let me know in the comments what you guys think. I can't wait to see the owner of this car's face when he sees this and see how solid a shape it's in. Now, I did actually miss the last dip of this car. So when you see the car going into the acid, that was actually the dip right before it. I was on vacation, so I didn't get to finish this car, but it still turned out absolutely amazing. But I appreciate every single one of you watching these videos. I truly do. Thank you very much. And I will see you at the next car.